The prophet Daniel was living in exile in Babylon. He and his people had been taken away from their homeland by the Babylonians and now had seen their captives overthrown by the Persians who ruled the world instead. The Jewish people longed to return to their home or at least be free from foreign rulers. Daniel knew from reading the prophet Jeremiah that their exile should only last 70 years. And God had told him that in a certain amount of time, the Messiah would come to them to save the world. There was hope for these people after all. But there were still many troubles to be had. As God sent angels to communicate with Daniel, the prophets saw that the angels themselves were locked in a great battle. Violent spiritual powers who ruled over other nations opposed God's angels and fought against them. Even the high-ranking angel Gabriel needed help from Michael, the commander and ruler of the angel armies, to fight back the opposition. Beyond the seen world, there was a war going on for God's people. Gabriel warned Daniel that this war would spill over into the human world. He explained many things that would happen to the Persian Empire, and eventually to the rising power of the Greeks as well. Daniel foresaw kings and empires from all over the world, north to south, rising up and opposing God and his people, creating violence and fear everywhere. Gabriel's predictions would come to pass in startling detail. In Daniel 11, 4 through 14, he describes Alexander the Great and his generals. He also predicts the ancient Roman Empire and the medieval Roman Empire. While some of these predictions may have been difficult for people of Daniel's time to fully understand, today we can look back and see how the message from God foretold how things would take place. These three chapters of Daniel's book, 10, 11, and 12, turn our eyes on the empires of the world and their history. They also reveal a deep biblical truth that behind the great events, battles, and movements of our world, there are spiritual powers at work, often at war against each other. Some people are following the powers of spirits who are opposed to God, while others are working alongside spirits who fight for God. Daniel foresaw that near the end of the world, a mighty spiritual being named Michael would rise up and raise God's people from the dead, confronting the powers of evil in a final, decisive victory and giving eternal life to God's true followers. Until then, we must be like Daniel and stand firm in our faith, trusting that God's promises will be on time, just as when he showed Daniel that the Messiah would come. We are lucky to know who that expected Messiah is. Jesus came to defeat the powers of spiritual evil, to take away the fear of death from humanity by conquering death through his sacrifice on the cross and his resurrection. When we join the family of Jesus, we become warriors in his fight against the evil powers. God's purpose in all this was to use the church to display his wisdom in its rich variety to all the unseen rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. When you see the world in chaos around you, Remember that God is in control and that we are in the middle of his plan to let the empires of the world fall to destruction and to see the kingdom of God rise up.